Chosen ones, <clears throat> empaths. If you utilize silence on the narcissist, it doesn't matter if you were the one that was discarded or you were the one that cut the narcissist off. What you've got to understand first and foremost is your silence is an unspoken language that the narcissist will interpret exactly what you mean. Regardless of how it ended, it doesn't matter if you were discarded. It doesn't matter if the narcissist done silence on you first, right? It doesn't matter if you were the one that went silent first. It doesn't matter. What you've got to understand is that when you choose to go silent, it sends shockwaves through the narcissist. It shatters them. You've got to understand that, say, for example, the narcissist involved in your life went silent on you first and done silent treatment. They expected you to chase after them. They expected you to pursue them, right? This is what they'd done. They would have expected you to pursue them. And if, the narciss if you cut the narcissist off first, they expected you to come back crawling and begging for them back. Remember that the narcissist in all of these scenarios, whether you done the, uh, the cutting off or they discarded you, the narcissist is a very stubborn creature. There are narcissists out there that will beg and plead and ask for forgiveness and stuff like that, but it's more rarer. Narcissists are usually very stubborn and they will actually enter a, a, a silence battle with you, right? They'll stay silent. While you're staying silent. And that's what many of you may be involved in a situation now. It may be of a period of time has passed. Since you last interacted with them. And you're in a place where both of you are displaying silence. Right? But what you've got to understand. Is your silence hurts more than their silence hurts you. And the reason why this is. Is because you've got. A whole list of memories with the narcissist, right? That where they displayed horrible actions towards you. Where they treated you badly. You've got memories of that, right? They don't have memories bad about you, right? They don't. They don't have memories bad about you, right? And even if there was some things that they said during your last encounter with them your last conversation with them, oh, you done this, or oh, you didn't do this enough, or, and they tried to plant a seed in your mind to make you self-sabotage, which is why they do this, right? They could have even love-bombed you during the last encounter, right? They would have done something to confuse your mind. That's what I'm saying. They either planted a seed of doubt of your own potential, or they could have love-bombed you at the last, then ghosted you and gone silent. They could have done something to confuse your mind and make you look inwardly and blame yourself for this happening, right? But all you need to understand is you need to maintain your silence in any given scenario and however this has ended. Regardless, if you were the one that cut the narcissist off or the narcissist was the one that discarded you, you have to maintain your silence, right? There's something called the fade and effect bias. So even if there was some so-called things that the narcissist had a problem with or there were there, there 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 was something that you supposedly done please don't take it seriously it's a, it's another manipulation they want to try and blame you they want to try and make you think that there was something that you upset them over or there was some reason behind it right and all of that's absolute rubbish right but there's something called the fade and effect bias and what you need to understand about the fade and effect bias is within uh Several weeks, right, after the last encounter with the narcissist, right, and they were trying to make out that there was something you done wrong, right? You got to understand that fades. That fades within them, right? That fades within them. And all they can remember is the positive things about your relationship, right? Now, this is why you could also say that the fade and effect bias works on you as well. But that's why you need to remember the torment, the rubbish you got put through, the um, the abuse that you went through. 
You know, if you start getting fond memories about the narcissist or so-called good times, you need to say, hang about. You know, this was a manipulator. This was a deceiver. This was someone that wasn't straight up. They wasn't genuine. Literally, there was no good times in the relationship. And you need to enforce that in your mind. You know, that there was no actual good times in the relationship. So you need to understand, you need to let silence be your unspoken language, right? Which it will be. The narcissist will reciprocate this silence in the way that you intend it to be reciprocated. To stay informed on topics like these, subscribe to the channel. If you want to shed some light on a personal situation, book a one-to-one -one session. I do all countries and time zones. Join the Empath group meeting coming up. Links for all I've mentioned are in the description box below. Right. So your silence will be reciprocated. You've got to understand this narcissist that was involved in your life will be thinking in their heads, why aren't they chasing after me? Why aren't they phoning my phone? When their phone rings, right? And it's not you, they're disappointed. When that notification goes off on their social media and it's not you, they're disappointed. You've got to understand that narcissists play the reverse hoover during a silent treatment war. They will, re they will use silence to try and draw you out. So that's what they're doing with their silence. Whereas you've gone silent because you've had enough. There's a big difference in, what's, in the motives and the reasons why you're both going silent. They're going silent to push you away, to draw you back in closer, to make you love harder. To make you chase after them. You're going silent because you've had enough. You don't want to talk to them no more. You've already tried. You've already tried to express yourself and talk things through. You've done that numerous times. And it always fell on deaf ears. Right? It always fell on deaf ears. So what you've got to understand is with this silence that you're doing, the narcissist is subconsciously and consciously beginning to revalue you. Over and over again. They remember the good times. They remember the way you treated them. They remember all the good things you've done for them. Right? And so they, 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 it's like a double-edged sword what they're getting hit with now. They're feeling, you know, broken because you're going silent on them. Right? They're reciprocating all of the good things you've done for them. All of the positive qualities you have. And this is making them revalue you. Right. So your silence actually speaks louder than words. Your silence does more for you than any words could possibly do. You could sit down with them and have a conversation with them and try and tell them, look, I do this for you. I do that for you. I do this for you. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't reciprocate. You don't need to say nothing at all. That's what's going on in their minds. Many of you get confused. You think that. Oh, the narcissist has gone silent. The narcissist has gone quiet. They've forgotten about you. They haven't, right? They haven't forgotten about you when they go silent. In fact, you're on their minds a lot more than you really realize. You're on their minds a lot, right? You're on their minds a lot. You've got to understand that some of these times when you're thinking about them, it's actually triggered by them thinking about you. That's what you you never you, you need to realize that a lot of the times when rumination spells might come in with you, it's actually because they're ruminating about you wherever they are. Right. So you need to understand that these narcissists will go through the reidolization, the revaluing process based on your silence. Right. Now they'll know what they lost out on. Now they'll realize, you know. They'll try and distract their minds with new supplies and stuff like that. They may do that. They'll try and distract their minds. And I don't want to trigger any of you now, but this is what narcissists will do. They rush into new relationships. They rush on very quickly. They may try and distract their mind, but still you're going to be this, this force in their heads and their heart and their soul of whatever's left of it where they can't forget about you. And they try and they try and try and distract themselves. But the more that they're around other people, and this is why it's actually a gift and a blessing when they actually do move on with new supplies, 
because that reinforces the fact of everything that you are and everything that these new suppliers don't live up to be, right? So they go through this revaluing process. So you need to maintain your silence. Your silence is a way to get your message across to them. Your silence is shattering the narcissist. Your silence is destroying the narcissist. Your silence is causing pain to the narcissist. They want you to reach out. They want you to. And you know, if you actually do, please don't. But if you do, they'll try and move the goalpost. Or they'll act disinterested, but they'll feel validated. They'll feel validated that you have reached out. Remember, it's like a power dynamic. That's what they're playing. They're playing a game. You're being deadly serious. None of you should use silence to try and get the narcissist back. None of you should have that as your motive. None of you should be utilizing no contact to get the narcissist back. None of you should be doing that. I know many of you might have done that for a period of time, but you've got to understand that realistically, you shouldn't want this narcissist back. Right, You need to get that into your mind. You don't want someone like that back in your life. You don't need someone like that back in your life. And even if they are revaluing you and realizing what you are worth and realizing what they lost, it's from a self-absorbed perspective. It's not a heartfelt moment where they feel guilty for the abuse they put you through. It's just them feeling sorry for themselves because they've lost out on something that was so... They've lost out on the potent supply that you offered. They've lost out, they've lost out on everything that you brought forward to their life. So they're feeling sorry for themselves. That's why they're realizing everything that you've done. You know, they could have easily realized what everything that you do when they were in the relationship with you, but they didn't because they took it for granted because they're selfish. That's what they are. Right. So understand that your silence is shattering the narcissist. And this is the key to making them revalue you. So maintain your silence. Don't. If you ever get thoughts in your mind about things you want to say or you want to say one more thing, please try and fight it. Don't break the silence. You know, they're most likely going to reach out with a hoover first. And remember, hoovers are not always a declaration of love. Hoovers can come in a form of, uh, hi, how are you? Hoovers could come in a form of, them trying to antagonize you from a distance with negative, a negative display of emotions, them trying to insult you, them trying to, them trying to provoke you with fake profiles, making subtle clues that it's them in the profiles or something like that. Hoovers could come in a weird variety of forms. It's not always a declaration of love. In some cases, it can be a declaration of love, but it's usually something to provoke you, something to annoy you something to test your temperament that's what hoovers usually are right so let them reach out to you first but don't you know maintain your silence is the best thing you can do if you want to tell them to go away you can do that if you really want to but they're most likely going to reach out with a hoover first you know, they'll do something. Something will be done. If you go into if you, if you go into silence and they've gone into silence, right? It's like highly likely that they're going to be the first one that breaks that through some form because they they're struggling more than you are during this silence process. Even if they're the one that done it to you first, even if they're the one that went silent first. Remember like I said to you in the earlier segment, they're stubborn, right? If they went silent on you first, they're being stubborn for their reason not reaching out to you now, right? Even if, you know, they don't want to lose the power dynamic. And if you cut them off and they've gone silent now, they're waiting for you to go crawling back to them because they're stubborn. Narcissists are stubborn, right? This is the creature that they are. They don't give you the closure that you need. You don't have that heart-to-heart talk that you would have in a normal relationship when a relationship comes to a close. And they count on all of those factors to try and make you a shell of your former self. They want to, they want to try and destroy you. So remember that you going silent is the unspoken language 
that shatters them, that makes them realize that you don't want to play around no more, that you're not playing no games, and you're deadly serious, right? That's what the message it sends across to them. It makes them know that you're deadly serious and you're not playing no games. Their silence is a game. Their silence is to draw you out. Their silence is to provoke you, you know? So don't take their silence seriously. Just understand that what you're doing is the right thing, right? And if you get any ideas or things you want to say to them, please try and fight it. You don't need to say no more. Enough is said, right? Now, I wouldn't advise any of you to do silent treatment on someone that's not deserving of it, like that's not a narcissist, because it's not a nice thing to do. But you need to do it with creatures like this. It's the only way that you can do it. And you need to understand that they're watching you. These narcissists that are involved in your life will be watching you during the silence and when you're not talking. They'll be watching you. They'll be keeping up on your social media. They'll be doing research on websites to try and find out information about you that has data about you and stuff like that. They'll be trying to speak to flying monkeys. They'll, be, they'll, they'll try and find a way to find out some information about how you're healing, how you're coping, how you're doing, right? They'll look on your career, I don't know, there's business things like LinkedIn and stuff like that. They'll look on all sorts of platforms to try and figure you out, to see if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're hurting or where your life's going, if you're upgrading, if you're doing better, you know. So their silence is not serious. Make sure that your silence is serious. You're not playing no game. This is no game that you're playing. You're not hoping to get them back. You've gone silent because you've had enough of their BS. You've gone silent because you don't want to be in the relationship no longer. You've gone silent because you don't even want to hear the words that they have to say. You're not reaching out to them because you know it's a waste of time. That's the angle that you need to be coming from, right? Please, none of you be doing silence to try and get them back. I can understand you doing it. But there's no point. You don't need someone like this back in your life, right? You could all do better than a narcissist. And if you don't think you can do that better than a narcissist, you need to analyze and do some reflection and realize that obviously you can do better than a narcissist and you deserve a lot better than a narcissist. None of you deserve to go through the treatment that you went through, but it's happened. This is what's happened, right? So just understand that the more and more that you maintain the silence, the more and more that you go on with your life, the more and more you upgrade, the more and more the narcissist is going to revalue you. The more and more the narcissist is going to struggle to pair bond with new relationships. This is going to make them, this is going to cause them a struggle and a problem because they're revaluing you. Right? So the silence is messing them up, that you're doing is shattering them, and them going through, you know, subconsciously consciously, the revaluing of you. This is, this is causing a hindrance to them in future relationships, you know? So leave them as far away as possible and let your silence be the unspoken language that makes them reciprocate your words finally, like all the times that they denied to listen to what you had to say. Your silence is going to be the very thing that makes them understand what you're saying. So anyway... Enhance your experience, get access to exclusive unseen videos and personal video requests. There's a three day free trial and can be cancelled at any time by going to your account page. Thanks for listening today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you want to donate, you don't have to, but if you'd like to support the channel, you can. Links in the description box below. For more narcissism based content, check out our other channel. Links in the description box. Please visit the forums. One of them is tips to heal and I'd love to find out what helps you on your journey. Please book a healing session with me if you need advice or some light shed on your situation. The Empath Monthly group meeting is coming up at the end of the month. Limited space is available. There's a WhatsApp group for survivors to stay in touch. I'm also doing email consultations if you need a plan of action. The links for all I've mentioned are in the description box below. If you'd like to know more about you already received the Hoover but didn't realise, click this video here. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.